uh, let us start with a formula of the total number of combinations or selections of n different objects taken r at a time so we have n different objects n different objects taken r at a time so the formula is n c r is equal to n factorial upon r factorial multiplied by n minus r the whole factorial now first of all let us understand what do you mean by n factorial let us say 5 factorial so 5 factorial is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 similarly if we have 4 factorial it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so we can say n factorial is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 and so on till 3 into 2 into 1 where n is any natural number and we also define that 0 factorial is equal to 1 now n c r can also be written as n and r in a bracket and they also have the same formula n factorial the whole upon r factorial into n minus r factorial so let's have a concrete example let's say 7 c 2 then the formula will become 7 factorial the whole upon 2 factorial multiplied by 7 minus 2 factorial so 7 factorial is nothing but 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 the whole upon 2 factorial is 2 into 1 multiplied by 7 minus 2 is 5 so 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so you can see that 5 and 5, 4 and 4, 3 and 3, 2 and 2 cancel. So we are left with 7 into 6, the whole upon 2 into 1. We can ignore the 1s. So 2 1s are 2 3s are. 7 3s are is 21. So 7 C 2 is 21. Let's take another example. 6 C 3. So we can write this as 6 factorial, the whole upon 3 factorial, this is the 3 factorial, multiplied by 6 minus 3, the whole factorial. So 6 factorial can be written as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. The whole upon 3 factorial can be written as 3 into 2 into 1. Of course, we can ignore this one all the time. And 6 minus 3 is again 3. So 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1. So we see that this 3 into 2 into 1 and over here also we have 3 into 2 into 1. They cancel like we did over here. From 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And over here also we had 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So the entire thing cancelled out. Similarly, over here 3 into 2 into 1 cancels with 3 into 2 into 1. So we are just left with 6 into 5 into 4 and in the denominator we are left with 3 into 2 into 1. Let's further cancel them. So we have 3 2s are 6. So 6 also cancels off. So, so 5 into 4 is 20. So 6C3 is 20. Let's take another example. Um, we have already solved for 7c2 
so let's solve for 7c5 now remember 5 plus 2 is 7 <coughs> so this would be 7 factorial the whole upon 5 factorial into 7 minus 5 the whole factorial so we can write this as 7 factorial the whole upon 5 factorial into 2 factorial and we had the same thing over here 7 factorial the whole upon 2 factorial into 7 minus 2 was again 5 factorial and the answer to that was 21 so over here also we have 21 so we can say that 7c2 is equal to 7c5 and this works out because 2 plus 5 gives us 7 so in general we can say that n c r and we can prove it using various examples that n c r is equal to n c n minus r now let us learn some basic combinations for example n c 0 the value of n c 0 is 1 let's see how it is 1 so n c 0 is equal to n factorial the whole upon 0 factorial and we know 0 factorial is 1 into n minus 0 the whole factorial so we end up with n factorial upon n factorial <coughs> sorry n factorial upon n factorial and n factorial upon n factorial is 1 so we have n c 0 as 1 and this is the same as n c n using this particular theorem that n c r is equal to n c r minus n minus r so n c n is equal to n c 0 and both are equal to 1 similarly we have n c 1 n c 1 is n let's see that too n c 1 is equal to n factorial the whole upon 1 factorial this r 1 factorial into n minus 1 the whole factorial now we can write this n factorial as n into n minus 1 factorial the whole upon 1 factorial is 1 we can ignore that upon n minus 1 factorial so n minus 1 factorial and n minus 1 factorial cancel so we have n and that is equal to n c n minus 1 so remember this basic combinations n c 0 and n c n are 1 n c 1 and n of c n minus 1 is n and in general n c r is equal to n c n minus r this is the various the very general form now let us see a shortcut to find combinations for example if uh, we have been given 9 c 2 so how can we calculate it in the fastest possible manner 9 c 2 so it's very simple we'll start the numerator with 9 this numerator with 9 and we'll write two terms in the numerator this 2 stands for that we'll write two numbers multiplying each other in the numerator so we'll start with 9 we'll write another number 8 so we have two numbers now 9 into 8 n we'll start the denominator with this 2 and again we'll write two numbers starting from 2 we'll write 2 into 1 so this 2 stands for two terms two numbers and in the numerator also we have two terms two numbers let's cancel this out two ones are two fours are eight nine fours are is 36 so this is the shortest possible way to get the combinations given r at a time and out of n objects let's take another example how will we find 10 c8 now 
10 C8 can be rewritten as 10 C2 because 8 plus 2 gives us 10. Okay. So we'll start the numerator with 10. We'll start the denominator with 2. And we'll have two terms in the numerator. So in the numerator we'll have 10 multiplied by 9. We always go 10, multiply by 9, multiply by 8, multiply by 7 and so on till 1. And the denominator will be 2 multiplied by 1. So 2 1s are 2 5s are 10. 9 5s are 45. So 10 C8 and 10 C2 both are equal to 45. Let's take one more example. Um, let's say 5 C4. 5 C4 can be rewritten as 5 C1 because 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have the numerator starting with 5, we have the denominator starting with 1 and we have just 1 term in the numerator. So f numerator will only have 5 and we have 1 term in the denominator. So 5 upon 1 is 5. So 5 C4 is also 5. This will be very, very useful when we solve sums, especially of the binomial theorem. Thank you.